Hey guys, it's your video. It's time for part 19 of Let's Play Secret of Evermore. So last time we made it to the new town. And, uh... There's a bunch of crap I gotta get. But you'll notice, I said I was gonna do the shopping stuff. A lot of the stuff I don't think I can get anymore. Or right now. Um... Like, all the stuff that's, like, perfume and beads and stuff. I don't think I can get it. I think all I can get are spice. Spices and rice. So anything else, if I'm missing it, I just don't get it right now. I don't know if I can come back later. Once I can travel the areas or what, but... For right now, I can't get it. But I can get all this armor. These three things of armor. Done. So, I gotta see how good this is. Gold-plated vest. <gasps> 19 to 55! Centurion helmet goes 27 to 54. My armband goes from 10 to 50. So, so yeah. I think uh, that gear is a little bit better than the ones I was wearing. Just a little bit. A lot of bit. So much. So much better. I don't even want... This, uh, this is so much better. But anyway, yeah, I don't think I can even get anything else, which is stupid. Oh, he does have beads. So we can get beads, spice... Um, we do need this ticket. Enjoy the show. Secrets, Golden Jackal, and a Jeweled Scarab. No, I can't get those. Sure, I don't have any other kinds. Perfume. Two jars of spice. So we can get perfume, beads, spice. Eight bottles of perfume and six beads there. Three. I don't know how much perfume I need. Okay. Eight perfume and six beads. What have I got to trade? Like, nothing? Two amulets, three perfume, one rice, four spice, and then one ticket. Gold coins. I gotta... I'm bad at this. I gotta try and, uh... Figure out what all I need. Um, can't get this stuff. Because I didn't know I needed most of these things. Spices are 12 gold. I can buy some for 8, I think. Beads are 15. So that's enough for the uh, the other place. Because that, that one over there needed 6 beads. Does this dude have anything? I forgot to ask the dude that sold me all that gear if he had anything else. Helmet. Sorry, I'm all out of helmets. He's probably out of everything. Um... It's just, it's like three perfume and three beads. So I need to get three more beads, three more perfume. Three jars. Three jars. I don't know for sure how much spice we need, but we need what? I figured this out like five seconds ago. Eleven. Which is like 22. Okay, that should be enough spice, I hope. Nine perfume and nine beads. So there's more there. So I need another 18 of these. I'm not keeping track very well of how many I've bought. Is that 15? Three, and then this one needs three and three, and the other one needs eight and six. So we need eleven and nine, and then nine and nine. So we need twenty and eighteen. Eighteen beads, twenty perfume. Is what we're looking at. And then I think that's everything except the item over there. So I think we got most of the things by doing this. No, we're beads. Nine beads, and we need eighteen. We gotta buy nine more. Okay. I guess that's what my dog is sniffing is talking to this dude. But, um. 
love my perfume. I would love some perfume. Three. 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 How many is that? Um, 15? I would love some perfume. Three. I would love some perfume. Three. Okay, I think that's everything I need. Be able to evade attacks. I'll take it. And see, this is the only item I don't think I can get the Oracle Bone. It makes you hear extra things. I don't even know what that does. I don't know if it's going to give me secrets later or what, but I can't get a Golden Jackal or a Jeweled Scarab here in this town. So I can't get that. And I had no idea I needed those things. So it's kind of my own fault. Maybe I can come back later and get it. Who knows? Insect Insanes. Take it. This is the dude with sold me spice. Yeah, go to Chaboka Boka Boka Bo. I will take it. You will not regret this trade. I hope not, because I got it. So now in charms, we've got the Chocobo egg, which increases maximum hit points. I have 255 hit points now, I don't know what I had before. Armor polish increases strength of body armor. Insect insects repels mosquitoes and spiders. J disc makes me hit better, the Mox of Stick increases healing, the Jaguar runs and runs, Ruby Heart increases, or lowers their chance of landing a blow, Silver Sheath increases sword type damage, the Sunstone increases my strength, the Staff increases my ability to defend, and the Thug's Cloak increases my evade. So if I look at my stats, got some pretty good ones on there now. So, uh, that's, I believe, all the items I can trade for. So we gotta come up and visit the Show of Oddities. The Show of Oddities. We already talked to this dude, and he's like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. We've got sweet exhibits, spine tingling horror, blah, blah, blah. Unbelievable. And I'm like, yeah, I've got a ticket. I'd love to see the exhibit. Here's my ticket. Step right up. Sorry, pooch. No dogs are allowed in the exhibit. You stay right here, Gregory. I'll be back in a few minutes. Gotta chase the kitty. Stop right there, bud. You're coming with me. <laughs> he has fancy tricks. <laughs> First stop in our tour of oddities will make you ponder the principles of our existence. How, will you ask, can such a creature live and breathe? There is no answer to your query. It is simply a truth in the shape of... Mr. Head. The man with no body. I have an itch on my nose. It's very uncomfortable. Weird! The next exhibit comes to us from the Far East via the Midwest. Stop over in Nantucket. It is a fantastic, freakish, and full of cheese-producing goodness. I give you the one-horned beauty of... The Unigoat! Isn't she amazing? Please, do not touch the horn. Follow me, follow me, there is much more to see. Our next exhibit is not for the squeamish or for the faint of heart. This disgusting, vile, and gruesome beast will give you sensations of horror and repugnance. It has fangs the size of a human femur. Its body is covered in fur from head to toe. Its eyes are so hypnotic that staring into them could make you spiral into a sea of madness. This is the terror that is... Mongola! I don't believe it! Mongola has escaped! I would be very careful if I were you, my friend around any corner. He's so slow. Our last exhibit is the most recent addition to the show. You will not believe your eyes when you see this rare combination of species. I present to you for the first time ever the fabulous, unbelievable... Pig Poodle! Gregory? Is that you? I know that you've been going through some changes, but this is ridiculous! Where are you going, Gregory? I guess if I were a poodle with the head of a pig, I'd run too!
Maybe it would work better if we started with a pig and dressed it up like a poodle. Oh, well, that's foreboding. It's probably bad. Ladies and gentlemen, the pig race is about to begin. Pig race, huh? And they're off. Truffle Trouble is leading the pack. Wait, a new entry is tearing up the track. Look at that pig go. We have a winner. Who owns this pig? Uh, I guess that would be me. You, sir, will be the guest of honor at the Queen's Banquet tonight. Congratulations! Well, Gregory, it looks like you've done something right for a change. We can ask the Queen if she knows how to get back to Podunk. Gregory's done something right for a change. <laughs> All he does is kill everything. The winner of the pig race is here to meet the queen. Arr! I had a week's pay bet on Truffle Trouble. Go on in before I change my mind. He was a pirate, because he said arg. I have my spear out. You know what that means. I gotta fight stuff. Hey, Gregory, where did you run off to? I hope he doesn't get into too much trouble. Honored guests and assorted rabble, may I have your attention, please? Dinner will begin once Her Majesty arrives. Wow, this is some fancy castle. I've heard that Flem the Fancy did the decorating. His use of tapestries is simply to die for. And you should see his custom bookcases in the study in the East Wing. He even used gold paint on their backsides. They are gorgeous. Flem has such taste. Everyone, please be seated. The Queen is about to arrive. People of Ivo Tower, distinguished guests, I present to you Her Majesty the Queen. Thank you all so much for attending! We hope everyone has a wonderful time! And who do we have here? This young man is Seal, the owner of the winning pig, Your Highness. It's a great pleasure to meet you, Mr. Seal. You may call me Queen Blue Garden. Uh, hi. You haven't seen my dog or pig or pig dog, have you? He followed me into the castle, and then he just disappeared. Say goodnight, my little piggy. You shall be my masterpiece at the Queen's Dinner! You are not a very pretty piggy, are you? Sacred Blue, you are not the pig! Well, whatever you are, Pierre, shall make you tasty. Come to Pierre, you son of a motherless rodent! That's right. Get to play as the dog. Get to play as a dog. Get to play as a dog. Dog, a dog, a dog, dog, a tom. As you can suspect, see these big dark gaps where you can't see anything? There's a lot of secrets in those, like walls you can walk through and stuff. It's pretty annoying having to find all of them. See, like one right there? You can go in either direction. There's pipes and draw vents. They might shoot you back up into the palace at various points. You can find a chest. I can't open chests. I've got no thumbs! Can't open the door either. Curse my lack of thumbs. All locked. They're locked doors, that's why. It doesn't matter that I have no thumbs to open these doors. It's just that they're locked. Seems suspicious. Okay. Shouldn't be that suspicious. Ah! I get to get lost a lot of this part too, because I have no idea where I'm going. I go outside, and I go on this door, and there's another way to go down, and I'm like, oh, no. There's another way to go down, and, like, doors you can go through, and a chest, and I'm like, this is the worst thing ever. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm going this one. I to open a study. I want to open the chest. I don't care if I'm a dog. Locked. Locked, because I'm going back down. Okay. Go up here. Doors open. Another one I can go down. Oh, this looks promising. And okay, there we go. I hate this 
maze. I hate this maze. All this game does is make me go in mazes. Then another chest. Not a bunch of baby. Okay. We're gonna figure out this maze. We're gonna get out of this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I totally got this. Oh, yeah. This is like a super secret. This is an old lady. Hello, little one. I don't get many visitors down here. This key around your neck will help in the castle. I guess I can get through locked doors now because this old lady put a key around my neck. Because I'm a dog and I can, uh, open doors with it. I don't know if it'll even let me open doors. Maybe it's just, like, when I get reunited with the actual main character, it'll be like, guess what? You can open all the doors now. This is a really annoying getting lost in the darkness what is I don't I don't even what the heck am I going back up and up and over and down and over and down up and over and nope up and over and I'm gonna end up by the old lady again aren't I son of a this place is the worst okay I escaped that'll go up Oof, that was quite the jump. Nope, can't go through the door still. If only I had thumbs to turn the keys! Then I would be fine, but no. I'm a dog, I don't got no thumbs. Okay. I totally figured out the right way. This is totally the one I need to be in. I probably totally haven't come out of this one yet. I totally can't be in this one. This place is the worst. The worst, I tell you, the worst. Ah, oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Um, but I'm actually going to end this part. Because I have no idea where I'm going. This place is a fucking maze. I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll figure out this dog maze in the next part. <laughs>